Hello my dear subscribers and welcome to my second part of tutorial with Turbulence FD and with a special uh, intro for you. So in my previous video I will show you just beginning with uh, Turbulence FD and just primal settings. In today video I will show you how to make finally this animation. So in today's video I will show you how to use Mograph text, how to use Voronoi fracture, how to animate it by playing, by effector for this Mograph and finally I will show you how to set up exactly Turbulence FD for your composition, how to make a special size, how to increase a render settings and finally you will receive like this. So if you are ready, let's start. I am in Cinema 4D and we start with animation of my text. So create text, put number 2, it will be 2, 10 centimeters, 50 centimeters, bold and middle, like this. Very good. So just copy for a moment, later I show you for what. Uh, this text, make it a table. Right click, select children, right click, connect and delete. This I know needs is polygons. Uh, go to point selection, select all points, right click, optimize and finish. So add this text to the cloner. We will put only one and add this cloner to the Voronoi like this. Voronoi we no need for a moment. Okay, same situation please make with other one. This will be 4. This will be 5. Very good. Editable. Yeah, first of all I need to make like this. Editable. Editable. Oh no. Something wrong. Yeah. Select children. Connect and delete. Point selection. All points. Optimize. And same situation with this. Like this. Connect and delete. All point. Optimize. Finish. Create two cloners put inside to the cloner this cloner put inside to the Voronoi same situation with this create a cloner put inside to the cloner this cloner put inside to the Voronoi so very nice this will be 2 this will be 3 this will be sorry this will be 4 and this will be last one 5 my mistake okay <clears throat> for cloner 1 and for this cloner 1 very nice I know it now Voronoi later we will do some animation but we will put in proper position somewhere here and somewhere here 2 4 5 subscribers of course I promise it you that my tutorial will be when I will have to two, two subscribers but sorry for my delay uh, because I was very very busy with preparation for, for celebration for your information I have a new virtually of my wedding with my wife is already 11 years 11 years I have a wedding so I was with busy with preparation subscribers yeah for subscribers will be 5, will be 40, will be bold and put somewhere here. Ok, like this. And little bit behind, like this. 
Very good. And additionally, I need some, no, sphere I no need for a moment. Very nice. So create a camera, look through the camera, put somewhere back, zero, 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 zero. Very nice. Go to the redshift render, of course, because usually I use redshift render. I very like this render. Very nice. Going to options, configuration, view, and increase view. Now you can see exactly your render window. Very nice. So um, now we will do some animation. First, this animation we will do for my cloners. Create effector plane. This plane will be like a line. Change direction. Going to plane and make invert. Go to the cloner, 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 effectors, and add plane inside. So inside, uh, in all cloners, I have this effector. If I move this plane, if I move this plane, my effector will do some effect for these letters. Okay, very nice. For plane, going to parameters. First of all, I like to receive some rotation like this and I like to receive something from, I don't know, maybe from some, no, it's too much, it's really too much, maybe 300 only. Okay, and just put little bit down, maybe 65. So what I have, uh, frame number zero, my plane will be here minus six zero no maybe minus five five zero okay dogs and this will be key key frame then i'm going to frame number 100 move this somewhere here and it's enough will be 65 key frame very nice look to this animation so i i will put like two four five in and I don't like to see it. Look at this. Yeah. Very nice. Letters coming inside. So now we will add some animation for subscribers. I'm going to somewhere on the 70. Going to this more text. This we already no need. To more text. And effector plane will be sub in. <coughs> like this. So uh, going to effector. Sorry, so, sorry, two parameters. I don't need position, I need only scale. Scale will be from minus one. Minus one, it's mean from nothing. Fallout will be liner. Now we will change again rotation. Like this. And also I will change for fallout this 20% only. So sub in, in beginning, on the frame number frame number 50 will be somewhere here very good then we are going to frame number 120 drag and put like this maybe it will be frame number five zero okay okay but i forget to make invert of this so look at this look to this animation First coming my numbers and coming subscribes, subscribers. Okay, very good. So now I'm create some sphere. I'm going back to frame number 70. Sphere will be like this and I will put, yeah, maybe somewhere here. Here, like this and down. Very nice. So going to frame number 17, put sphere exactly in this position and make for sphere keyframe. Going to frame number 120, change sphere and put somewhere here, again keyframe. Very good, like this. And 10 frames before, 
10 frames before. Okay, maybe 20 frames before. Scale will be 1. And finally, scale will be 0. Like this. Then going to frame number 70. Just somewhere here. No, 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 sorry, sorry. This will be like this. And 10 frames before will be 0, 0, 0. And maybe somewhere a little bit move. Maybe will be 40. Like this. What I have. Okay, now I no need to see this plane. And look to this animation. You see how is text moving here. Again. Very nice. Maybe I will add some moving for this sphere. Yeah, maybe somewhere here will be 90. And this is I no need. Okay, check again. Very nice. Very nice. And we will do one more. Select more text, more graph, plane, and name of this plane will be subscribers out. For parameters, we need only scale, will be minus one. It's mean going for nothing. Again, liner and change, change like this. So very good. Somewhere here we will do this animation. I don't know, maybe text coming here is 20 and somewhere from 45. From 45 we will do coordinates like this and maybe 200 we will make like this very good and okay we no need it to see anymore and finally we are enable my Voronoi so for Voronoi first of all I will increase source to 200 and 200 just more make more uh, parts yep okay <clears throat> and somewhere text going to the end somewhere from this area somewhere from this area for this all this Voronoi I will make first game frame offset fragments and somewhere here I don't know maybe 15 maybe 20 this will be 5 okay what I have look at this coming text coming sphere text going out and this going out looks like very nice so if you like you can add some moving of camera I no need it I no need it absolutely for camera I will add some protection tag that I cannot move it okay now we are going to first of all I am save it yeah I'm save it and I'm going to plugins turbulence FD plugin create a container which parameter I use for container first of all I'm going to cache simulation I'm create uh, some folder where is I like to save my cache okay I no need any previous cache so I will create new after that I will use a voxel size it will be 06 for me it will be very good quality of my fire so where is I will use my 
where is I'll use my uh, container. I am going somewhere here and start increase. First of all, increase like here. So going to my sphere, I don't know, maybe from this viewport and check. I will make 300 for a moment. And where is my sphere? Okay, sphere inside, sphere inside. Maybe it will be a little bit smaller. Yes, yes. Okay, my sphere inside. Okay, uh, hi. I have to make maybe like this for what, uh, as you can see camera, my, uh, this is angle of camera and my container little bit more than my camera view. So all simulation will be for sure inside in the camera. And next last one, I'm going to frame where is I first time can see my letter. This is first frame where is I can see letter. 35 so this letter this is yes as you can see sorry this letter should be 100 percent inside in the simulation container so i will increase maybe 200 for a moment drag and put like this okay very nice so uh, just for your information your container should be as small as possible uh, for fast calculation for fast cache simulation and fast rendering. Uh, but everything should be inside. Okay, we are going to simulation. Burn enable, fuel enable, density enable with, I don't know, maybe we will use a 15 and temperature 10. Turbulence, I will use at 20 centimeters and vorticity will use 10 centimeters like this. Okay, very nice and viewport render will be density and will be fire shader very good so uh yeah i will delete it and create one more time going to sphere add turbulence fd tag it will be temperature density fuel and burn if you need only smoke you will use only temperature and density Fuel and burn will give you fire. And additionally, for my sphere, I will use a noise texture with full contrast. From white color coming fire, from black color, no any fire. From more text, I will add also turbulence emitter with one, 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 everything can able. And make copy of this emitter to all my other texts. So when everything done and everything ready for simulation, when everything ready for simulation, you are going to, yeah, we are one more time, sorry, we are one more time, save it. We are going to plugins, turbulence FD, simulation window. I already have it down. I already have it here. There is, you have a choice or by processors or by video adapter, how to make the simulation. I will use video adapter because it's more faster on my computer than my processor. And everything done, when you're sure that you have a cache folder, your computer is ready, you just push a start. Okay, let's go. Okay, on my computer the simulation taking approximately uh, 7 minutes and it takes 13 gigabytes. Okay, very good. So, uh, when everything done, when everything done, we are going to materials, somewhere here, everything already inside in the memory, somewhere here, and create redshift material volume, like this. Apply this, apply this material to my Turbulence FD container go inside and as you remember from my previous video here should be density here should be burn and inside in the burn now we will play with this little bit okay i will create a area light somewhere here and like like this put it down okay area light will be 2000 for 1000 
like this and volume should be 100%. You can check my previous tutorial for what I doing all this action. Okay, a redshift render for in beginning and not necessary to IPR render and check what I have. I have like this. So now I little bit play with the settings. Somewhere here should be orange color, maybe like this. Somewhere here should be dark color. Here I will use a middle maybe like this very light and here I will make again orange okay what I have I have like this looks like looks like very nice so for final render I know I no need to see sphere more text and all my numbers so look at this looks like very interesting maybe this uh, shader I will make a little bit bright yeah maybe like this okay when I am satisfied with my rendering going back to redshift not necessary to use these samples because I use only volume material going to going to going 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 to sample override volume and increase up to maximum 500 then going to system bucket render and increase up to maximum when everything done for output put all frames put save for PNG file and Go ahead. For my computer, it's saving approximately a rendering approximately three and a half hours. After that, when everything done, you go to Adobe After Effect and create new composition for all your frames. It will be, it will be like this. You see, very nice. Then I download from internet some sounds, fire sounds, which I apply to my letters, uh, some forest fire just like a background fire and candle blow to blow the final my fires and additionally what i make additionally i use some adjustment layer with heat distortion effect you can use it from video copilot heat distortion plugin okay if it will be like this you see like a like a temperature with plugin without plugin and one more glow with parameters threshold 90 and radius 750 apply and you have like this so i hope you are satisfied with this uh with this tutorial so one more time sorry about my delay uh i create this tutorial when i have two four five subscribers because i was busy with preparation for my celebration so but if you like my tutorial put like share to your friends if you like to support my channel check my comments uh, it will be very good for me you can send me some donut if you like and see you next time goodbye friends